the ability to create simple objects within true space and apply a texture map to those objects can be a very powerful and potent tool. In order to demonstrate this ability, let's create an object here. We'll keep the polygon count low or the face count low. And in a very, very basic fashion, using True Space's native tools, we'll fashion a body for a car. There's our car body. Now let's create a series of wheels or tires for this vehicle. So we'll rotate our tires and locate them just under the body of our car. And using True Space's copy tool, create the second half of this side, group those together, do a quick copy and a quick move and we end up with four tires on our car. So for the purposes of this demonstration our car has been modeled. So once we have our car modeled we're going to apply a cubic UV projection onto this car body and this allows for proper presentation of our texture map. So opening our UV editor, we'll scale this up a little bit. And let's zoom out a bit on the mesh and select all of the polygons on our mesh. Scale them down a little. Open up our material editor. Right click on the color shader and apply a texture map and the texture map we've selected is painted onto the car and we'll call this a Picasso car for the time being. It's not quite right. Now with our texture map applied we begin to select the faces of the mesh as they are represented in the UV mapping editor and as we break apart these polygons let's just move them around give ourselves a little bit of room to um, to work here so we separate or slice apart the entire mesh as represented in the UV editor And as we move these faces around the UV editor window, the area of the texture map that the polygon covers will actually be shown in real time on our model in true space. So although this process may seem a little disorienting, as we progress through this demonstration, you'll understand the value of breaking apart these faces at their seams gives us control over what is actually going to be displayed on that particular face on our actual model in true space. So there we've broken apart the representation of the mesh in the UV editor well, let's take a, an example here and we'll select this front face and move it over the area of the texture map that we wish to have projected upon that particular face. Now using the UV point edit tools, let's just zoom in a little on this face to give you a better look. We can adjust these vertices so they line up 
with the area of the texture map that we want. And again, you can see in real time how this is being applied on that particular part of the object. So in a few easy steps you can begin to see the power of the UV mapping editor in true space. So again let's select another face on our UV mapping editor. You can begin to organize these as you move along. But specifically we're looking for the front windshield area here. Oh, there we go. So again we'll position this in an area of the texture map that will eventually be applied to this face. And here you can see a 3D control being used to adjust the height and the width of our mesh until we get to a point where it looks right in our real-time display. So now you have a process of selecting faces and applying them to the areas of the texture map that are best suited or designed to cover that particular face or polygon in the true space environment itself. Again, using the 3D control, you can very quickly and easily adjust, tweak the look. And you begin to see our car taking shape. Here we can adjust where two particular faces cover a given area of the object. And just as we broke apart these face representations, we can also weld them, make them reliant on each other in the UV mapping editor. So here we've positioned two faces. And we can weld the vertices together. Now they become reliant on each other. So again, using the UV mapping editor within TrueSpace, tremendous amount of power at your fingertips.